and therefore because of these two facts we can conclude that there's exactly one root between minus one and zero. Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at one of the numerical methods, specifically how to locate a root by considering a change of sign. Let's say that we have a function y equals f of x, and it crosses the x-axis at a point between a and b. Or in other words, it has a root in the interval a, b. Let's assume that we were unable to calculate the root exactly using algebraic methods. So instead, using numerical methods, we're trying to find a range in which the root lies. And we're doing that by identifying a change of sign. So what do I mean by that? Well, notice how the function at a, or in other words, f of a, is a positive number. So if I were to draw a line uh, connecting to the y-axis, then we would end up with a positive value for f of a. Whereas the function at b, or in other words, f of b, is a negative number. So if I were to draw a line connecting that point to the y-axis, then we would have a negative number on the y-axis. So we have a positive number for f of a, and a negative number for f of b, and so that's the change of sign that we're referring to. However, a change of sign could also be indicative of three roots, or of five roots, or in fact any odd number of roots. You could even have a change of sign when there are no roots, and that would signify an asymptote. And so the point I'm making is that a change of sign is not enough to tell us exactly how many roots there are in a given range. For that, we need more information. Let's take a look at an example. Given f of x is equal to 4 minus x minus 2e to the negative x, prove that if f of x equals 0, then there's exactly one root between minus 1 and 0. Let's begin by checking if there's a change of sign between minus 1 and 0. So f of minus 1 is equal to 4 minus negative 1 minus 2e to the negative minus 1. So that's equal to 4 plus 1 minus 2e. So e is about 2.7 roughly, so 2e is approximately 5.4. So we have 5 minus 5.4 is definitely negative. So f of minus 1 is less than 0. Let's now check the sign of f of 0. So f of 0 is equal to 4 minus 0 minus 2e to the negative 0. So anything to the power of 0 is just 1. So we have 4 minus 2, that's equal to 2, and so f of 0 is greater than 0. So we've gone from negative to positive, and therefore we do have a change in sign. Clearly there is no asymptote in the range minus 1 to 0, and so we can deduce that in the range minus 1 to 0, there is an odd number of roots. Let's find out exactly how many there are. So our function f of x is equal to 4 minus x minus 2e to the negative x and we've been told that f of x equals 0 so 4 minus x minus 2e to the negative x is equal to 0. Now what we can do to find the number of roots to this equation is rather than sketching this messy looking function and seeing where it crosses the x-axis, instead we can draw two different functions. So we can draw uh, minus 2e to the negative x and y equals x minus 4. And the number of times these two graphs intersect is the number of roots to this equation because it's just the same thing but rearranged. So let's begin with y equals minus 2e to the minus x. 
We know that e to the negative x looks something like this. And so minus 2e to the negative x will be flipped in the x-axis. So we're going to be looking for something like this. And the point at which it crosses the y-axis is when x is 0. So plugging x equals 0 into this equation, and we get minus 2. And our second graph, y equals x minus 4, is just going to uh, look like y equals x but translated for down and so we're going to get something that looks like this where it's going to intersect the y-axis at minus 4 and so observing our two graphs we can see that there are two intersection points here and here and therefore the number of roots to our equation is 2 so from the sketch, we know that our function has two roots. And using the change of sign method, we deduce that there's an odd number of roots between minus 1 and 0. And therefore, because of these two facts, we can conclude that there's exactly one root between minus 1 and 0. Let's take a look at a second example. Given f of x is equal to ln x minus 1 over x, prove that if f of x equals 0, then there's exactly one root between 1.7 and 1.8. All right, so f of 1.7 is equal to ln 1.7 minus 1 over 1.7. And that happens to be minus 0.0576 to 3 sig fig. And f of 1.8 is equal to ln 1.8 minus 1 over 1.8 and that happens to equal 0 0.0322 to 3 sig fig. So clearly f of 1.7 is negative whereas f of 1.8 is positive and so we definitely have a change of sign in this interval. And just for a quick check it doesn't look like there's going to be any asymptotes um, of this function uh, between 1.7 and 1.8 because we don't have any zeros in the denominator and we don't have any lun zeros going on either. And so just like last time, we can deduce that there has to be an odd number of roots in this interval. Stage two is to check how many roots our function has. So f of x equals ln x minus 1 over x. And f of x is equal to 0, so ln x minus 1 over x is equal to 0. And instead of sketching ln x minus 1 over x, we can sketch um, y equals 1 over x and y equals ln x. Just because we can rearrange this into the form ln x equals 1 over x, and therefore however many times these two functions intersect is the number of roots to our function. So y equals 1 over x looks something like this. And y equals ln x looks something like this. And so in this case we only have one point of intersection between our two graphs and that tells us that our equation has only one solution. So if our equation only has one root and we know that there's at least one root between 1.7 and 1.8 then we can deduce that there has to be exactly one root between 1.7 and 1.8. Let's do one more example because it's a bit different to the first two questions. Given f of x equals 2 plus tan x show that f of x changes sign in the interval 1.5, 1.6. All right, so it seems simple enough. Let's plug in uh, 1.5 and 1.6 into our equation. So f of 1.5 is equal to 2 plus tan 1.5. And I should have mentioned earlier that x is in radians. Uh, and that comes out as about 
0.123 sig fig. F of 1.6 is equal to 2 plus tan 1.6, uh, which is equal to minus 32.2 to 3 sig fig. So we definitely have a change of sign. So F of 1.5 is greater than 0 whereas f of 1.6 is less than 0. However you may have already spotted that tan x uh, has asymptotes and so we can't assume that we have a root between 1.5 and 1.6. So in order to check whether our function has an asymptote or a root in the interval Let's draw our function y equals 2 plus tan x. So we know that y equals tan x looks something like this. And then it repeats. So y equals 2 plus tan x uh, is exactly the same, but it's been translated up by 2. And since the transformation is only a vertical translation, then in fact the asymptote is still at x equals pi by 2. Pi by 2 happens to equal roughly 1.57, which indeed lies in the range of our interval. And therefore, the change of sign is caused by this asymptote, not a root. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you learned something new from the video. Uh, and comment down below what video you want me to make next. And I'll see you next time.